Hello there, today I'm going to tell you about um, a new product that we've got now. Uh, it's the uh, CTrader Moving Average Crossover Strategy. It's quite a well-known um, strategy that people are using, uh, professional and retail traders are currently using this strategy for their trading. It's very simple. It's when two moving averages at different periods cross each other, where one moves above or below the other one, um, and it'll actually open up a buyer or a seller, or it can provide signals. Now, this is the product page. To access it, if you're not familiar with um, our website, it's clickagro.com. You can access this product by going to Software, Classic, Automated Trading Strategies. You'll come to this product page, uh, and on this page, it will give you um, information about the product, uh, example parameters, and the video is at the bottom, which you're probably watching now, okay? So I'm not gonna mess about, I'm gonna go straight to uh, C-Algo. Uh, C-Algo is the algorithmic trading platform from Spotware. Um, so it's the uh, one that you run your, your C-Bots on, uh, and they have another platform called C-Trader to actual manual charting, okay? So um, what I'm gonna do is show you this uh, C-Bot on the left. Um, when you download the C-Bot from us, you'll probably uncompress it, double click on it and it'll install it automatically into this platform and you'll see it on the left in the less in the left down here okay you'll also see it in c trader so you can uh, run this robot from c trader or c algo it's your choice but if you're gonna use it just for um, auto uh, fully automated i would probably run it on c uh, c algo and just minimize it okay what we're going to do is we're now going to add an instance so we just add instance now, if every time you add an instance, you can add a new robot instance. Uh, you can set your currency pair or your symbol, and you can set independent parameters. Okay, what the first thing I'll do is actually explain uh, the parameters for you, okay? I'll um, go through them one by one. So the first parameter you'll see at the top is your symbol, which is straightforward, okay? Then you've got your time frame. Now, this type of strategy, the time frame is very important. Um, one time frame may work very well and another time frame may work very badly. Now, how are you going to know which time frame to use? Okay, there's a few ways of doing it. One is to go on the internet and look up this type of strategy, which is a moving average crossover, and see what most traders are using, what settings they're using in regard to time frame and moving average periods, and copy them. Another one is, is to optimize the parameters. So, sorry, yeah, to optimize them. So, what you would do is you'd run an optimization and you'd actually set which the time frame to be optimized and you also set the moving averages so it will find the perfect time frame for those moving averages for the symbol you're selecting so there's a few ways of doing it um, I'm going to do another video later which is going to show you how to optimize and I'll do exactly that I'll optimize with different time frames and different periods so what it'll do the, the robot so the computer will actually look at all the different variations of those time frames and parameters and pick the best to suit the data which is the uh, symbol that you're using, okay? So that will save you um, just running it and hoping it will work or continually doing back testing and changing the parameters manually. Okay, so you've got show registered user. That simply shows who the registered user is on the screen. Okay, activate auto trading. If you select that to no, every time the two moving averages cross or there's a signal, it will send you an email or display a pop-up window on the screen, okay? It won't open a trade. If you select yes for auto trading, it'll open a trade. Um, if you select yes for email and yes for pop-up, it'll also open a trade, send an email and a pop-up uh, message on the window. Now the email is useful if you're not at your charts and you're away from your computer, um, you could be anywhere. It will send you an email to your phone. The pop-up is useful if you're looking at different charts. So you'll say you're trading at different charts and you don't wanna be keep watching say uh, a particular symbol you know, waiting for the crossover to occur. You just want a pop-up to come up on the screen saying it's occurred. You can then go to the screen, look at what's going on and make a decision whether you want to enter or exit or manage an existing trade, okay? Um, instance name, the reason for this parameter is so that you can have two robot instances, both with the same symbol and time frame, but with different parameters. For them to work independently, you have to choose a unique instance name, okay? Lot size is self-explanatory. Stop loss and take profit are self-explanatory because you can just set uh, whichever take profit and stop loss you want. Um, I'll quickly tell you this one is that currently, if you set your stop loss and take profit to zero, it will open when the two moving averages cross. So it will say an example would be when the fast uh, moving average crosses above the slow moving average, it will open a buy, okay? And when the fast moving average moves below the slow moving average, it will close the buy and it will open a sell. 
I'll explain that in more detail uh, later on, okay? Um, so you can set your stop loss and take profit. So what will happen is, if the two, if the, uh, two moving averages cross and it opens a position, it will stop, it will, sorry, it will either close by a stop loss or a take profit before it reaches the next uh, moving average crossing again, okay? Um, <clears throat> now you've got trailing stop. If you select yes for trailing stop, so you can turn it off. If you select yes, the trailing stop will trigger, it will be activated after the uh, after you've gained so many pips. So in this case, when you're 20 pips in profit, the trailing stop will be activated. Um, it will move the stop loss five pips below or above, depending if it's buy or sell, the, the price, okay? So we, for example, if it's a, a long position, as the price is going up, every five pips, it moves the stop loss five pips below the price. And if the price keeps going up, it trails behind locking in your profits, okay? If the price reverses and goes against you, it will hit the stop loss. But by then it would have locked in maximum profits. That's why a trailing stop with a pip step is very useful. Um, trading hours, this is also very useful. Um, so what we've done, we've put the most useful features that you can add to any strategy into this one, okay? So trading hours, um, certain trading hours are very important for certain symbols. Um, I don't know where, where, I don't know what the, obviously could the people could be trading heavily at certain times of the day or the volatility is unpredictable at other times of the day. Um, so it's good to use this feature and I'll show you um, how that's being used later. Now we've got the two moving averages. Again, your uh, moving average one, so your fast moving average, um, it's set at five at the moment. Um, the moving average type is simple, simple, yeah. So you can choose seven different types of moving average, okay? And you can mix and match. So you can choose any one of these and you can choose any one for the second one. So you can have a fast weighted moving average crossing above a slow triangular moving average and it will open a buy. Um, again, I'll show you later on how to, how to uh, optimize and find the, the best balance or mixture of these moving averages for a certain symbol or instrument, okay? So we're gonna leave that, we can, I'll leave those as they are at the moment. So again, you've got send email, which is straightforward. You can turn that off here. You don't want an email sent. You don't want to pop up, turn it off, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to load in the parameters that we've provided you with. These aren't parameters to say, you're gonna make loads of money out of it. These are just example parameters. We didn't optimize them. We pretty much just um, run it on this current, on this symbol, which is gold, spot gold. And it came back with fairly good results. So this isn't for trading. This is just an example to show you um, how to use it, okay? When you download the robot, you'll also get the uh, parameter. This is called a CBOT set. So it's just a bunch of settings that can preload into this. If you right click on the robot instance and go load parameters, and where you've saved the file, you just open it. And what you can see now, it set the uh, instrument as uh, gold USD. It set the time frame as one hour. Uh, it's got auto trade in. It's got the stop loss and take profit at zero, which means that this, these settings, a trade will open every time the two moving averages cross. <clears throat> it's, the trailing stop is turned off. So there's no um, other kind of take profit or stop loss being used, okay, other than those two moving averages. It is using trading hours. So from nine in the morning till 1300 hours, um, this is on the server time, which I think is GMT, um, that it will only be allowed to trade between those two hours. And you'll see that if you change those hours, it doesn't perform so well because those hours are quite important. And if you do some research on the internet of why trading hours are important, you'll come up with uh, the reasons why, okay? Now, this is just using two simple moving averages, five and 20, okay? Um, I'm gonna to, uh, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna turn off send an email and display pop-up because I'm gonna run a back test. But even if you have those selected to yes, it doesn't send an email or anything like that, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, on the chart, I'm gonna just have a basic view that I start off with, okay? And I'm gonna add the indicators to the chart. Now you don't have to add the indicators. You can quite easily just run the robot and uh, it will run and in memory it will use the moving averages. But it's nice to have the moving averages on the screen to see what's going on, okay? Um, before I start that, I just wanna show you here a news release occurred. And this is a classic example of a news release where it occurred maybe here and the price dropped massively and taken out people's stops, okay? People, many people would have had stops here because maybe the technical indicators were saying it was bullish. Um, so the, when that occurred, be aware of news releases, but, but if you've got, but then you can obviously see it went uh, bullish again 
the direction probably of the news release and went um, high as possible, very high actually, it was quite a high jump in price. Um, and then it kind of came all the way back down again to where it was before, which is quite classic. This whole example here of news releases is quite, quite classic. And uh, again, if you go on the internet and you look up trading news releases, you'll see that this pattern that's occurring is quite common. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the two, the two moving averages indi indicators to the chart. So I'm gonna go to trend, simple moving average. Now you can see on here, you've got the different types of moving average, okay? Exponential, simple, time series, triangular weighted. So these ones, apart from the video, you can actually add onto your chart. So I'm gonna go simple moving average, uh, five. I'm gonna change that color, something very bright, a green. Okay, and then I'm gonna add another one, uh, simple moving average, and it's 20. Um, I don't know what colour to use. What colour shall I use? Oh no, I'm going to use the blue. And make that fat. Okay, you've got the two moving averages now. So, again, this if you were using this robot to trade, okay, it would not have opened a position when the news release occurred. Or even as the news release, it may have actually, as it dropped down there, it might have opened. But in this case anyway, I'm not sure about what happened there, to be honest. But in this case, anyway, uh, a position would open there, a long position, and it would close there. Okay, this is just showing you an example of how the strategy would work. And you'd gain all of that. And again, it would open here. And it hasn't closed yet. The position would still be open. But it would, if this keeps going up, it would probably close there. So it would, it would open a buy position there, close the buy position. It will open a sell, close it there. It's because of indecision. It will open up a buy and close it there. It'll open up a cell and close it all the way down there. Now, if you're using trading hours, and this was outside the trading hours, it wouldn't trade in that period, okay? So this is just a very basic uh, strategy to be used, showing you as two moving averages cross, how you can open them uh, and close positions, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna save that template. Let me just delete the circles first. I'll show you how to save the template so you can use it uh, for other things, okay? So I'm just gonna go, uh, save template, my test. Okay, that's saved. Now I can use that in any of my charts. So I'm going to do a back test and I'm going to load the template called my test. Okay, uh, I'm going to run a back test on, these, on this now with these parameters and I'm going to go all the way back to 2012. Okay, sometimes back tests can take a long time, so you just have to sit and wait, but I think with this type of instrument, it's quite fast. Okay, as you see there, the yellow line below has that uh, gray shaded line area, sorry. The gray shaded area is your uh, drawdown, okay? If you would have had a great big spike of gray going down, that means you're risking a large chunk of your equity, okay? So there's not a lot of drawdown in this in general for this period of time. But again, if you go to history and then you click on this trade, for example, you can see that a buy position was open there when the two lines crossed and it closed up there. OK, that closed with that amount of profit. Um, if I click on that one again, you can see it opened there and closed there. This is just an example to show you that this type of strategy, how it works. And even though there's many losing positions, um, I'll explain that in a minute. One thing I just actually it's very useful that this has occurred just now because when you run this strategy as a back test, you'll probably notice that the uh, two moving averages didn't cross there, but it still opened a sell position. And you're probably thinking why. The reason is that that did occur at that period of time, that the lines did cross, because you can see that price um, there. What's happened is as the candle was forming, the lines did cross, but the, by the time the candle uh, was closed, the, the line was redrawn to show that it hadn't crossed. This is quite a common thing that you'll find with Ctrader when you run back tests. Just be um, aware of it. This normally happens when there's a great big spike in the price that actually will cause it, okay? Um, so I'll just do one more example, maybe that one, okay? So where it fails, this type of strategy, is here. I can tell, because anywhere where there's losses. So it fails when there's indecision in the price. Um, this type of strategy will fail when there's no clear direction of trend. So clear direction of trend here, you can see all the way down. You would get uh, this strategy would do well. 
no direction of trend, so indecision, obviously you're making losses, okay? But not too much. I mean, the way the strategy works, it's not so bad. But when it's periods like this, you will get losses. See, there wasn't any other losses in that area there. Um, you can filter out these losses. So when there's indecision, there's a few ways to actually um, prevent these losses and increase your performance, increase, sorry, your, your net profit. Um, one is probably to add additional indicators, okay? So that when there is indecision, it doesn't trade. Another one would be, um, just an example, let me just try and find that again. Could be, look at, um, I'm trying to find where I, I was last time to show that. One thing is to look at the two lines and where the lines are close together, you can maybe not train. So what I'm trying to say is there's various ways to actually um, reduce your losses using other um, indicators or other uh, type of strategy that you build into this one, okay? Um, or you can just accept the losses. So if I go back and do a back test to one year, which is 2017-02, and run that one, um, it'll show you just what a one year return on this one. So again, these parameters are just for example purposes. Okay, and again, in another video, we're gonna explain into more detail backtesting, how to configure backtest to be more accurate, how to build in the, the uh, spread into the tick data and the rest of it, okay? Um, so again, here, we've just a one year backtest. You see it's done a return of 16%. Uh, one thing about this strategy, I should stress really, that it's uh, a slow trader, okay? It's only done 52 trades in the year, so that's one trade a week. Um, but it's given a 16% return with a less than a 5% drawdown. And that means that at any point during that year, so at any time during that 12 months, your equity was at risk less than 5%, okay? Um, if you had a drawdown of 50%, it means that any t at any one time, your money was at risk, half of your money was at risk. So you might have a 50% return, but you're also risking half of your money. So it gives you some idea of what you should be looking at when you're trading robots. Obviously, some people trade differently, whether you're a low risk trader or a high risk trader, you might go for quick profits and um, it doesn't matter if you blow your account because your next account, you might make 10 times that. So, but our view on trading is, is probably around 5% drawdown. Okay, so that's um, the strategy there. I just want to quickly show you that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh yeah, so quickly, uh, this robot, we're obviously selling for $24.99. Um, you don't get the source code, okay? Which is very low price for the features that you get. If you were interested um, in receiving the source code um, and the ownership of the source code, then it's $99.99. And if you did that, you can request for us to do additional development work. So you might want us to add additional indicators, additional logic to reduce the uh, losses, um, or anything else that you can think of to actually start your algorithmic trading to improve it, then we'll do custom work for you as well and you keep all the source code and the robot runs and you can do what you want with it. You can pass it to another developer or anything, okay? So that's the robot uh, that we're showing you there. Uh, again, um, we've, we've, at our website, we've also got other uh, software that we're selling. We don't just sell software, we also um, write custom indicators and robots for traders. So pretty much, um, the service we offer is the free education that we've got on our uh, on our website, plus uh, trading robots, as well as um, development service, as well as products that we sell for trading applications. Okay, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you do a thumbs up, because that really helps my uh, YouTube channel and uh, my stats on Google so people can find out we actually exist. Okay, thank you very much.